Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Human Paladin. We are going to pick some things up here in Grizzly Hills, right where we left them oh so long ago it seems. And we'll get to enjoy the amazing scenery and music here in the Grizzly Hills today, that's what I'm looking forward to most. While we do some quests that we didn't do on our original journey through the zone, I'm going back and we're going to be working on getting all the side questing done. Uh, I say side questing, but really I just mean any yellow quest that we haven't done yet. Music might be a little loud today. A little loud. Bring it in just a notch. There we go. I don't need to talk today. We can just listen to the music. It's absolutely okay if it's too loud. So, we should probably go into our quest log now. And let's, uh, let's look for the quest that we're working on. Here we go. Let's actually track the ones that we have here. So that they're showing up. That could be a good idea. It says Iron Dwarf Images Captured. I'm not sure how to capture their image, and I'm kind of worried that this might be like an item thing. If I abandon this, am I going to be able to see where to pick it back up? Um, let's see. I feel like I should be able to just to go grab... Yeah, here we go. It's right over here. Let's just go re-grab the quest. I have a feeling that there might have been an item involved that maybe I dumped on the ground at some point. What can I do for you? Now that we've got the uniform, we've got to get enough information to complete your camouflage. Rhaegar brought along this camera to document the team's finds, but I have a different use in mind. I want you to take it with you to Dar Dun Elgoral and use it to capture images of iron dwarves. There we go, yeah, we needed to have the item, so. I'm glad it didn't take me like 30 minutes to figure that out. And then I guess we're just... Invalid target. Huh. Do they need to be dead, maybe? Do they need to be dead? We, we are gonna find out. Yes, they do. They do, in fact, need to be dead. There aren't really a lot of them. Maybe we need to do a little bit of flying around and tactical landings. I think we need to get inside of the building here. There we go. We could probably just round all these guys up. They're not even like very interested in us. I'm pretty sure we got all of them. We need two more. It 
it looks like this guy will do for one of them, but there's a couple over here. Let's just come over here. We'll drop down. We will grab you. And we will grab you. Uh, we need two different power cells. One of them should be over here in the building. Uh, from this person, Runesmith Durar. And then Rune Smith Cathorn. I am in the queue for the Daily Heroic, which today is Azul Nurub. Uh, but as you can see, uh, I'm on the Maladeth server on this character. It's 2.35 in the afternoon, and it's a Wednesday, and there's nobody doing the Daily, the daily Heroic. There's no one doing the Daily Heroic. Not even a single other person in the queue, guys. Does that mean the server is dead or that the like or that the population at Endgame is not doing heroics anymore? <laughs> Robert complains about being the only person in the queue immediately gets an invite to a group. You got my attention. Did you get the power cells? We did. Excellent, we should be all ready to go. You'd think the guys making the power cells would have thought to power them up, but no, they've got to make it difficult for us. Fine, we'll charge those cells the hard way. There's enough power in them to run the golem for a short time, but don't expect it to be any good in combat. You see the lightning sentries that the irons have posted around the perimeter of Dun Argol? Bring the golem with you, take it close to them, and use the golem to absorb the power as the sentries die. Very good. Interesting. What's on your mind? Good, these shots should do. Now, to create a kit to pass you off as a convincing Iron Dwarf. Using the images you've captured, I've created everything you need for your Overseer Disguise Kit. You'll make a fine Iron Dwarf, if I do say so myself. Take the kit with you to Dunar Goal, use it to disguise yourself, then go to the easternmost building on the broad middle tier of the city. There you should see a pedestal where the Thane Overseers receive their orders from this Loken. Activate it while disguised and learn all you can from the communication. Be good. Okay. So I have to do that while disguised. Um, but this other one, I, I'm not going to be disguised. Maybe we do the lightning one first. I don't really know what they mean to do do it as they die. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe we only need to summon him out after they're dead. Um, I really don't know. Like, maybe now would be a good time. That worked. Uh, can, do you think we could do it after they're already dead? Is he just going to stay out with us now? 
Oh, okay, okay. So he's gonna hang out with us. I don't have to activate him every time. That's that's really good. I appreciate that. What I don't appreciate is how he likes to stand literally right on top of us. That is rude. Let's see, we've got three paladins. Can we get another paladin? Can we get another paladin? I love this character, but I, I do often regret rolling a paladin for Wrath of the Lich King. Because everybody's a paladin in Wrath of the Lich King. Everybody's a paladin. But the thing is, I absolutely love the Paladin class. But you know, maybe I could have played one in Wrath instead, or in uh, Cataclysm instead, when it maybe it would be less popular compared to uh, other choices. Because didn't we get a big class revamp in Cataclysm? Pretty sure we got a pretty big class revamp. So maybe that would have been a better time where there'd be less... Maybe there's always just a lot of paladins. Maybe that's how it is in any version of the game. I don't really know. I'm going to be really curious once we get our rogue to level 80 and we're doing heroics on the Pagel server. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing the difference because Pegel is one of the, one of the mega, quote, mega servers, end quote, uh, and it's, it's all alliance. And I have a feeling the queues are going to be a lot bigger, a lot more people in the queue uh, than what we're seeing here on Maladath. And Maladath is split pretty much down the middle as far as Horde and Alliance, but there's a lot less people total on the server. Uh, Pagel has like two times, three times as many players total than Maladath, and they're all Alliance. So, yeah. Uh, we are done with that one, and I don't think we are going to have time to do the other quest, but that's absolutely fine. I'm assuming that we're going... Uh, over this way. We could probably just fly. I don't know if we're going to get there before the summon. But you know what? Let's go turn this quest in first. Not that it really matters. We'll be back out this way. Uh, we Maybe we just intercept the message really quick. Uh, do you think we have time to do that? We could do that. Could fly right in, get the disguise on, and intercept the message. If that's all we have to do, we can get this one done maybe before the summon comes in. We'll see. We'll prioritize the group. We can always fly back out here. But I, I think we can maybe get this done. Let's land over here. Let's put on the disguise. You're late, Overseer. Destiny will not wait. Your craftsmen must increase the production of the war golems before the stone giant leader and his army reach Ulduar. Tell your runesmiths to continue converting what stone giants you can. Those that will not submit must be destroyed. If the stone giants interfere with our work at Ulduar, I will hold you and your thane responsible. Mortals must not be allowed to come to the aid of the giants. Return to your duties, Overseer. Be certain to impress upon your workers the urgency of their tasks. We got the ping for it, so we're good. Got the ping, got some cool lore, and now we're going into the heroic. It's pretty easy to bless everybody when you only have two classes in the entire group. Uh, so yeah, it's cool. It looks neat. We have three paladins. 
and uh, two shaman. And for my OCD, at least uh, we have a pattern going here in our group window. Uh, I, I'm sure somebody can do something. And uh, is there anything we need to do? Let's refresh Seal of Command. Let's, let's do that. We get so many Art of War procs compared to what we can actually use. <laughs> Sad sometimes. Now there's probably a school of thought that says looking for DPS gear when we're looking at epics, I should probably take any leather that could work for us as well. Which isn't something that I would normally do because I'm used to just going for the armor that we're supposed to wear. But I would consider it. We are wearing a couple of cloth pieces on our healing set. So... I'll definitely take a hard look at any epic leather that drops. If nobody else needs it, which in this case nobody else would. Except maybe an enhancement shaman, I guess. If there, if there is one in the group, which it doesn't look like there is. There's chain lightning and lightning bolt damage there. Are we going for this? Apparently we are going for this.
Now he's healing back up. I mean, people do understand that this is happening, correct? I believe all the ads are dead now though, so we, we should be good now. Egg sack robes. Who doesn't want to wear a nice egg sack robe? Sounds all squishy. I always forget how quick this is. And there's really not a ton of trash in here.
Uh, there is a tanking belt. I think we have a tanking belt. Let's let's have a look here. We only have a healing belt. Are we wearing our tanking belt? We're wearing that belt. If nobody needs on that, I'm gonna need on it for uh, I'm gonna need on it for offset. Let's get the item for the quest. That would be really super smart. And let's hearth back. Uh, yeah, definitely an upgrade, right? Not a huge one, but... Definitely an upgrade. Alright, let's save that. And then... I guess for now... We would just want to keep this equipped. Since we don't have a DPS specific one yet. Uh, and I might want a vendor empty out our bags. Light be with you. Although we still kind of do have that issue where we don't have a lot that we can really get rid of. So, let's jump on a flight. Well, let's turn in the, the daily. Then we'll jump on a flight back out to Grizzly Hills. Greetings. There we go. You can only complete 24 more daily. Oh, I didn't know that we, uh... That they gated you on how many daily quests you can do every day. That's actually really interesting. Never occurred to me. Hello. Uh, let's see. We want to come out here, I think, to the Westfall Brigade. That's going to get us as close as we can possibly get uh, to where we are going. And, yeah, you know, the more I get on this character and the more I think about the stuff that I like to do in the game... And the way that I play it now, I'm probably going to focus this character on, on becoming a DPS uh, character. I have a lot of fun with Paladin DPS. It's, it's not too challenging for me. The rotation is not too demanding. And we're durable. We, we don't often just get one shot, even if we kind of, you know, make some mistakes. So, yeah, I, I really do like DPSing on it. I like being able just to jump in the queue as a DPS and just wait to find a group. And I think that if I do have to pug raids, if I do have to pug raids to do Ulduar, which I hope I don't, but if I do, then I think the best way for me to do that is probably going to be as DPS. Just a little bit less responsibility, 
we know how I can often get distracted. <laughs> and it's probably just going to be easier to like throw myself in the queue for a raid in the looking for group tool on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, it, you know, as a as a DPS than as a as a healer necessarily. But you know, I, I'm willing to do anything. I think I, I I would definitely want to heal if I had a static group. If I had a static group, I'd want to heal. You know, or I'd at least be very willing to heal. I would DPS also, but but I think if I'm doing looking for group finder stuff, I'd rather just deal damage. That's kind of how I feel about it. And that's why I've just been doing runs as DPS and probably just going to be saving my badges for DPS gear. And just, you know, some days we'll probably run a couple more dungeons. Uh, I wanted to get some questing done in the Grizzly Hills today. So I just wanted to get the daily heroic done. But yeah, some days we might just do some dungeons. Uh, some days we'll do some questing. And we'll just kind of try to vary it up a little bit while always accomplishing and pushing something forward. Uh, whether it's just quest or reputation or dungeon gear for the DPS set. I want to keep working on the character uh, and keep seeing these zones and interacting with the world at this level. And if you guys are here with me, I, I really appreciate you coming along for the journey. I know, I know it's like, it's like strange casual content, strange end game casual content where like we're not getting big into raiding right now and, you know, we're, we're just doing heroics. Now, whenever they do release Ulduar, which people are thinking maybe will be, you know, at the end of January or the beginning of February. When they release Ulduar, we're supposed to get heroic five men plus dungeon, so heroic plus five mans, which are meant to be a little bit more difficult than heroics, and then they're going to be rewarding gear, like, I believe it's like the lower level max gear is what they're going to be rewarding in the uh, heroic plus. You guys can correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I read a couple of different times about the heroic plus was that it would come out when Ulduar comes out and it would have gear that would let people gear up to essentially the equivalent of low-level max gear. Uh, and that's really cool. That'll really help us out a lot. I love running five mans if we can get pertinent gear out of it for all of our sets. That'll be a lot of stuff we can do, but that being said, like I kind of want to jump into Ulduar as soon as I can. Uh, I don't want to have to spend a lot of time gearing up. I think that'll be really cool for the specs that we're not maining, so if, if we are going on a DPS spec, we, we can use the heroic 5 men stuff to just build out our tanking set, build out our healing set, you know, we'll, we'll heal and tank in the 5 men runs, uh, but then if we're DPSing in raids, we can, we can just do that. Either way, I think, it's, I think the heroic 5 men plus is going to be a great time. I really like the concept of harder five mans for better loot. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to see how that works out. Well met. Could it be that Loken isn't really exaggerating the Titan's stone and iron suns fighting against each other for control of the ancient city of Ulduar? This is madness rambles, and it could destroy our only chance to learn the true history of dwarven kind. Uh, what are we grabbing here? Just the plate to sell it. See you soon. What's on your mind? The Iron Thane and his anvil. Now that you've charged up your war golem, we're gonna put all of that energy to good use. Activate the golem inside Dunar Gol to take control of it. Our information about Dunargul's leader, Iron Thane Furyhammer, suggests his bodyguard protects him from all harm. That bodyguard is the construct he travels with, called the Anvil. Disable the construct and his protection will disappear. The Thane stays in the building at the top of Dunargul and supervises production from the bottom level. Watch your back. Okay, and what else do you have? Blackout. The large hall at the top of Dunar Gull House is the power source for the entire area. If you can destroy the power core, it will cripple Dunar Gull for some time. 
No power means no golems, no sentries, and no more lightning armaments. When we were sent up here, they told us these explosives were for excavation, but thanks to Iron Thane Fury Hammer, the research has been scrapped. We may as well get some use out of them, though. They're the only thing we have on hand capable of destroying the power core. Alright, we're gonna blow something up. Good times. Yeah, both of them are gonna be all the way back, so we'll fly in. We'll jump in the uh, mech. We will fight the guy's bodyguard, and then we'll blow the place up. It's pretty decent order. Let's see if it works out. Alright, now they did say on the bottom level here, so we should be good. I don't know if we want to be down here. Let's go ahead and we'll do this, and then we need to take out this guy. EMP disrupts the anvil, causing it to drop the protective shield. Okay. Let's do this. And then we go on him, right? Yeah, there we go. I guess I'm just going to use this mech to destroy him. I He's an elite, so yeah, we should probably just stay in the mech. And we'll stun him with two if he comes out of his little daze, which yeah, he has a lot of health. He, he'll, he'll eventually come out of his daze here. We'll just, we'll just keep him stunned. It's probably the safest way to handle this. I don't know if we can maybe like run away at this point and escape, but we'll just, we'll just take him out. Alright, that one got a little bit weird. Let's, uh, well, yeah, are, are we good here? What else are we doing? The power core destroyed. I don't think we want to be in this guy for that. This seems like a good place to put the explosive. I just kind of wish we weren't inside of it when it blew up. Get her back.
If we plan to spend a lot of time in a zone, it might be smart for me to set my hearth stone here. Uh, just in the event that if we're doing if we're doing dungeons, I think, while we're out questing in a zone, then we'll set the hearthstone somewhere in the zone. That way, when we're done with the dungeon, we can just easily get back to what we were doing. So, you know, that way we save a little bit of time. We don't have to worry about that flight from Dalaran uh, every time we pop out of a dungeon. All right, we're getting close. Excuse me, ma'am, do you know the way back to the soldiers' camp? Mr. Floppy and I decided to go for a walk in the woods and my brother Walter was going to come with us. But then he had squire things to do. So Mr. Floppy and I went by ourselves, but we got lost, and there were a whole bunch of hungry wolves, but we found this tower. The wolves went away, but we're still lost. I asked Mr. Floppy, and he doesn't know the way back. Would you help us, please? Yes, I will help you. So Mr. Floppy is a is a pet rabbit, a giant pet rabbit. That looks like it probably weighs more than the little girl. <laughs> it's a little bit intimidating. It's like it's like a 90 pound rabbit. Um uh, there's a road we could use. Well yeah, we can have a walk. A walk right into a bear. And she thinks one of the wolves, he's going for Mr. Floppy. No, Mr. Floppy. I wonder how much health Mr. Floppy has. Oh, he has 6,986 health, so... He's got a little bit of HP. He could probably take a hit or two, you know? Not that we want that to happen, of course. Not that we want anything like that to happen to Mr. Floppy. Come on, Mr. Floppy, get in here and tank for us, man. What are you doing? Alright, he, he's not interested. He did the smart thing. He should stick with the little girl. Are we going to get ambushed one last time? Maybe not. We're almost at the marker. Look, it's another wolf. He's going to eat him. He's eating him. Guys, I, I can't help him. He put him in his mouth. I couldn't stop him. If this if this rabbit dies, I am I am not going to be happy. Okay, good. Oh no! Oh my god. They killed this rabbit. Oh, he's okay. Whew. That was a close one. I, I would have been pretty upset if we did all this just to have this rabbit be killed in front of us. 
in front of this little girl, that would that would have <laughs> would have tainted my experience. Uh, as as it is, that was actually pretty nice. I, I feel really good uh, about what we've done. I guess it's quest complete. Uh, they're still running. I'm just kind of curious if they're just going to disappear. Thank you for helping me get back to the camp. Go tell Walter that I'm safe now. Now they're going to disappear. Yeah, there they go. All right, very cool. Thank goodness you found Emmy. When she left without me, I was worried she'd gotten lost. Glad to see Mr. Floppy's big back safe and sound too. All right. And so that's it for here. If I open the map, I can see that there's something to do back here. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of dailies. I mean, oh, a Valiant's expedition. Okay, so let's have a look at our reputations. Uh, Valiant's Expedition. We're exalted, so we don't need Valiant's Expedition rep. Um, what we could use... Well, we can use anything else, basically. Uh, we really need Knights of the Ebon Blade, which I'm pretty sure is stuff that we skipped in Zuldrak. Like, all of this stuff here. Oh no, it's over here. The Ebon Blade is... Ebon Blade stuff's over here. We're, we're gonna come back and do all this stuff, so I, I think for now we, we can continue... Um, maybe with some of the stuff here, though maybe we will go to, to Zuldrak and work on some Ebon Blade stuff. I'm tempted just to finish this zone off first. There's only a couple of things. Um, yeah, let's hop on a flight. We'll go over to the Amber Pine Lodge. Greetings. Light it's probably better just to like take it zone by zone. We started here, so we'll, we'll do all the yellow quests in each zone. Uh, before we ta think about tackling any of the dailies. I know, and I know that this is not a way that people typically play the game, so I, I hope no one's out there thinking that I'm trying to, like, min-max endgame or something. That's not what I'm doing here. I, I just want to go for completion of all the yellow quests. And for me, the easiest way to do that is just to look at it on a zone-by-zone -zone basis, find them on the map in Questy, and, uh, and go pick them up and do them. And so that's kind of my plan with this character for now, is slowly gear it up with heroics, build the DPS set, get it as good as we can get it. Maybe we try to do some LFR uh, as DPS, and we will see. Uh, we'll just have to see. But I am really interested in going through and clearing all these quests out, so that's kind of going to be my top initiative on the character is to do the 100% the run, get all the yellow quests done, and see everything there is to see here in Wrath of the Lich King, because it's pretty obvious that, you know, things are going to continue. We're going to get Ulduar, uh, we're going to get Trial of the Champion, Ice Crown, and one day we're going to be in Cataclysm. That just seems to be the way that uh, things are going. So... I'm going to enjoy Wrath while it lasts, as much as I can, on as many levels as I can. And I hope you guys can enjoy it with me. Thank you all so much for being here. I truly do appreciate your support. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.